To Frida Mohammed up against Joel King. Now that's all nonsense, really, in the end. None of that has any bearing on this match. Yeah, it's all past, isn't it? There's some good, um, good shot selection from King there. She's looking Seven. to twist and turn ah. Mohammed, get her behind her. Oh. Well, we saw a lot of the issues as well yesterday in uh, Mohammed's match. And I think uh, King's response to that is really important. Yeah, Seven. I feel like she has to stonewall it. Completely, and, yeah. yeah, completely. And just think about how she can prevent it with her squash. Been steady, been more, more steady of the two so far, King. Well, another error from Mohamed, and it's the steadiness and consistency. One game to love. Just being a little bit more patient. Six, five. Five game balls for Mohamed. Well, it's a good response from King. See if she can get Six, herself ten. going again here. First point in a while. Oh, look at that. <laughs> she knew she'd slotted it. She was off before King had even <laughs> not got the ball back. Three. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Six. The confident shot Six. in the backhand. Look at this. That again it's it's well, that's the shot again from King. Video referee decision on King's appeal. We're going to go to the video referee here for the decision. It's a loose shot from King. And the problem is, is King's moving sideways here. And when you look, where's the second bounce of the ball? Stroke I'm quite surprised by that. But um, Game to King. King referee's feeling that Mohammed did stand on the ball and on the way through and, it, and when it is repetitive. Oh, that was a great serve from King. Really, really wide. She's hit her with a follow through. That's awful. Oh. I really hope King's okay here. There's a real thump with the, the follow through. Hopefully, there's physio nearby. Well, we're back here. Great to see Joel King back on her feet. She's got the the war wound with the plaster on her head, but um, brilliant that she can can carry on. Let ball play sort of for that situation. Tough one, isn't it? Because if you're Mohammed, you obviously are worried about smacking your opponent, and then equally as king, you're you gonna you you can't help but be hesitant on there. I tell you what, though, she's a real warrior, King. As difficult as this scenario is, she's the one that would be, you know, out of the players, you would back her. Oh dear oh, me! No, what's happened now? Dead leg. Oh. I mean, that really isn't good. Oh, no. It's the knee. Something's happened to the knee here of Mohammed. Oh, God. I mean, honestly, the, I mean, officially, she's only meant to have three minutes here anyway, and I just can't see how she can, she can carry on from this. She's in terrible pain. Oh, I can't believe this. I mean, I take it all back. Um, injury. She got three minutes break. Try to continue. I mean, the physio's done incredibly, so I take it all back if that's the case, because Frida Mohammed um, is back and she's up on her, on her feet. That was the longest three minutes I've ever known in my life, Drew Boy. Stroke to Mohammed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What oh, was in review goodness. from King? I mean... That should have been match. That was way longer than three minutes, and you let that happen. 
King is absolutely right, but yeah. she should never have started playing. I'll tell you what, she's digging in so well here, King. Go on. I mean, wow. I mean, honestly, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, she's in absolute oh, agony. My she's goodness. still throwing herself around doing the splits. She's screaming Five, in pain as she one. gets the ball back. I mean, King's firing the ball to the front, but the ball keeps coming back. Look at this. And out. Nine. I mean, she's now kneeling on her knee. I, I, I mean, she's crying. I mean, honestly, uh, can we can we just call this a day? Thomas needs to call it. Yeah, this is quite upsetting to see her in, in match, this match kind of distress. King. So the match has been awarded to Three Joel King. Two. It's just um, it's quite distressing to have seen that unfold, really. Well, I think if it is if it is quick points, I think that will favour Amanda slightly. Sabrina would do well to try and move the ball around a little bit, get Amanda on the move, stretching her into corners, extend the rallies a little bit. Went for the cross court nick, but missed it. And out five eight. Yeah, just sitting up and then punished with it. You have to say that's finished nicely, conceded by Amanda Sobi. This is uh, an impressive first game by Sabrina Sobi. Yeah, it's just gone a bit ragged from the younger Sobi. Yeah, and complete opposite from Amanda Sobey. She's Seven Amanda's one. being very accurate. You see, yeah. nine. five ten game ball. Still four game balls, of course, for Amanda. And there it is. That'll do her the world of good just to finish that off and stop the the comeback of Sabrina. Top. Five seven. Left. Yeah, great squash from Amanda Sobey. Earns herself five game balls. Ten five game ball. So still three game balls for Amanda. Great squash. 11, well 11, closed game out. To Amanda. Amanda leads two games to one. Because Amanda is so attacking, she can win points very, very quickly. Exactly. This lead could could be gone in a matter of minutes if she lets go of the reins here. Two five.
And out 7-3. Green is just nudging. Oh, done it. 11-9, game to Sabrina. Quite enough width two. on that last shot from Amanda. Yeah, the straight play again, Six, being rewarded. It's a tough ask to come back from this now. Well, Sabrina opening the court up, but sort of playing into the hands of Amanda slightly. The sensor, Amanda just wants to get this job done. Oof. Nicely straight and Sabrina Sobi looking for the cross court. The ball being punched straight by her older sister Amanda Sobi, who has got herself over the finishing line. She had to work incredibly hard. Entertaining match between these two, some really open squash. But in the end, it's Amanda Sobi who gets herself over the finishing line. You see exactly what it means to her. Positive from El Arabi running on to that ball and straight. It's all about El Arabi here. Yeah, it's um, a nice shot Two from Latourno. That will settle her down a bit. that cross court she's absolutely furious with herself a little bit more on everything she's finding the severity that this court warrants That's really getting her into this match. That's a lovely shot. Just put that extra bit on it, make sure it ran past. Got through. Great shot. And there it is, the winning shot. El Arabi finishing it off. 
Good third Three game by Daniel Letourneau. In the end, El Arabi getting through. Half time. And ability with the racket, Sarah Jane Perry. You see her getting the racket ready and holding on every shot, and, and it really breaks up the rhythm and the movement of the opponent. Because she's got that great ability through the hands, she's able oh. to adapt and change the shots <laughs> right was, to the last second. That was a lovely example. We hit that lift from there Five. and control it. Yeah, beautiful shot. And then the hold. Nice hold. Well, in the end, Terry getting the job done, but Emily Whitlock did well to get herself back into that game. Whitlock ball furious with herself. Long. She put the ball straight on the volley, the forehand volley of Perry. Three game balls for Perry. That is a wonderful little drop shot from Whitlock. Yeah, the boast from um, Perry rightly put away. It's very high. There's good balance on that drop shot. Two game balls still remain for Perry. Yeah, yeah Willock yeah. knew that that was a, a shot Early. to play and take games. on, but she'll be absolutely livid with herself that she's found the tin on it. Got the ball in behind Perry, she's on the volley, and then just hit the top of the tin. Yeah, than she has done in the previous games when she's come back at Perry. Perry's just got to make sure she keeps getting that ball in behind Whitlock. That's where she's getting a lot of joy and that's where she's establishing her base. If she goes short too early, yeah. then Whitlock's Six, straight four. into her. The focus has just gone walkabout again with Perry. Left, yes. Shot selection just goes. And you should either, she just knuckle down a little bit here in the last stages of this third game. Oh, lovely hold again, just Nine, makes six. that shot even more effective. It's a great drop anyway, but... When she's taking that ball in, four match balls for Perry. Well, there you go, <laughs> there you go. This great effort from Whitlock to stay in this rally. 11-6, match to Perry. Well, Perry was able Three to stop, to start long. and twist and 11, turn eight. Whitlock. 11-8, 11-6. This final rally, very much the trend of the match. Perry looking to hold and break up the movement of her opponent, using those late op options. That hold and cross-court serving her very well in this match. 